There's a lot of songs out there that are really catchy, and also just the worst. And I don't mean songs that you immediately hate but are earworms because they repeat the same phrase over and over either. I mean songs that seem really good and catchy until you actually listen to the lyrics. Admittedly, I'm not good at assessing the quality of music, so this probably happens to me more than people that actually have taste, but that's besides the point. There's a lot of good examples of this, especially in the 80s, but the song I want to talk about is a bit more recent than that. It's a song from last year called She Wants Me To Be Loved by The Happy Fits. The Happy Fits are a weird band for me because I have a feeling if I actually listened to the lyrics of their other songs, I wouldn't be too happy about those either, but I don't want to deal with that right now. The thing about She Wants Me To Be Loved is that it starts really strong with its title and subsequent hook of the song. The song's about a man that can't get over his crush that he knows doesn't like him. This is a fine concept for a song, and relatable for some, I know. I like the title because it starts out the way he wants it, where she wants him, and then the twist that that's not what that means at all. Like you might want for a good friend, she wants him to find love, just not her love. Which is of course completely fine but still shows the dichotomy of his wishes versus reality. The rest of the chorus is pretty good too. It's nothing special, but it pretty clearly gives the idea of a crush that will not go away, but is still hopeless. Then we get to the rest of the song. I'm gonna go through this song from best to worst, just so we can work our way up to what made me uncomfortable. We already looked at the chorus, which is good, so we start with verse 1, which, while not necessarily bad, is a little odd. Most of it's fine, just about how the two of them are good friends, but he wants more and she doesn't. And then there's these lines. I've known you so long and maybe too well, all of the boys you kiss and tell. Now, the first line by itself is fine. It's a pretty common idea that knowing someone for a really long time makes it weird to think of them as someone to potentially be in a romantic relationship with. That line, combined with, so you say you love me but not the way I need, gives me I love you like a brother vibes. I have no problem with that. My problem is with the second line and how it might affect the first line. Now, it's not the worst, don't worry, we'll get to that. If you have the kind of friendship where talking about your sexual exploits with them is normal, then this is perfectly fine. But considering he thinks he knows her too well, maybe hearing about all of this isn't exactly his idea of a good time. Maybe she's talking about it to scare him, which is awful, though considering the next line, it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know, like technically there's nothing wrong with these lines, but something feels off. Then we get to the bridge. The bridge is the second worst group of lines in the song. The second part of the bridge seems fine, if I'm interpreting it correctly. It's not saying much more than saying he wishes she loved him, which is the whole point of the song. But before we get there, we have to get through the first half of the bridge, which is a bit concerning. We start with the first line, One day you'll love me before we grow old, which immediately reminds me of an XKCD comic in which a character describes his plans to not only wear down his crush, but in a subtle and manipulative way that makes her, and I quote, revise your definition of love, which is all kinds of disgusting. I have my own thoughts about the comic, mostly that love can grow out of friendships, just not like that, and I'll put the comic in the description in case you also want to be upset at humanity, because that's not what this video is about. Back to the song, the line gives a hint that maybe the singer doesn't actually know what rejection means. The second line doesn't seem any worse, as far as I can tell. If I'm interpreting it correctly, it's just him continuing to dream about the future. Then we get to the third line. I'll do your dishes and ask for no kisses. Now, I assume this is still him dreaming about his future with her. However, if that's the case, then I gotta be honest, that doesn't sound like a romantic relationship. That's just him doing someone's dishes, which I guess is nice? I don't know. Maybe it's him trying to be respectful, but again, I feel like asking for kisses in a romantic relationship isn't exactly disrespectful. The only way the line makes sense is if he's talking about the real present, or honestly the real future, where they're not together. But the line very much seems to take place in the hypothetical future. It's just a weird line, and honestly fits pretty well with the toxic XKCD comic. I'm gonna make her depend on me by doing her dishes, not that 
that makes someone dependent on you, but I won't push anything. I won't ask for kisses, but she can kiss me if she wants. Oh good, I'm already uncomfortable. Perfect for the worst part of she wants me to be loved, verse 2. Verse 2 doesn't start off awful, because of course it doesn't. It starts with them hanging out, but only as friends. They'll save space for Jesus to make sure it doesn't seem romantic. That's fine. Then we get to the next two lines. He goes to pick our flowers, which admittedly isn't necessarily romantic, but in this case, we all know it is. And she doesn't seem to want to be there. She's counting down the hours until she can go home, which isn't a good sign for a continuing friendship, let alone a romantic relationship. She either doesn't want to be with him, or doesn't want to be on the beach with him. Either way, it's not a good sign. And that's before he asks her out. Now, that alone would be fine, if not for the fact that he says, time after time, my odds are stacked, which means he's asked her out before, many a time apparently too. So no wonder she wishes he didn't when he says no kidding. Like, that's just actual harassment. What is wrong with you? He says, maybe this time it will be different, but no, that's not how this works. Like, I can understand why she doesn't want to be there if you've done this again and again. You're an awful person. Learn what no means. I hate this song. So anyways, this song was one of my most listened to songs this year. Oh, oh, she wants me to be loved Oh, oh, she really, really does